The Stoics, an ancient school of philosophy, believed that true strength lies not in conquering external forces, but in mastering our own emotions. In today's world, this wisdom is more relevant than ever. Have you ever felt drained by the manipulative actions of others? Manipulators can disrupt our mental well-being, leaving us feeling frustrated and powerless. But what if there were practical strategies to navigate these difficult dynamics? In this video, we'll explore 15 practical Stoic-inspired ideas that will help you handle manipulators with compassion, grace and resilience. Join me on a journey to protect your emotional well-being and subscribe to the channel for more tips on developing mental resilience. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped with a toolbox of Stoic wisdom to effectively handle manipulators. So, take a deep breath and let's begin. If you're new here, please like the video and subscribe. Statistics show that only 15% of my audience is subscribed to the channel, so if this content has helped you in any way, I ask you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now, let's go back to the topic. 1. Identifying and understanding the manipulative threat. Take a moment to picture yourself as a guard at the entrance to your personal citadel, your inner tranquility, physical health and emotional safety. Without a doubt, awareness is the first line of defense in protecting this fortress. Just as a watchful guard must notice potential dangers, you need to recognize the indicators that a manipulative individual is approaching. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher who advocated for reason and self-control, tells us in his Enchiridion that it's not what happens to you that upsets you, but your judgment of what happens. This advice is crucial when dealing with manipulative people. Their deceptive strategies and subtle control tactics can't exert force over you. Your emotional reaction to these activities and how you perceive them are what determine their effect on your inner peace. Cultivating a stoic gaze, a calm and objective method of viewing the situation, is key to success. Recognizing the characteristics of manipulative behavior is an essential step in this process. Here are some important warning signs. Guilt trips. Manipulators often use guilt to control your actions and decisions. Gaslighting. They may try to make you doubt your perception and sanity. Passive aggressiveness. Manipulators rarely confront issues directly, instead resorting to indirect attacks. Playing the victim. They often position themselves as the injured party to elicit sympathy and control. Flattery and praise, excessive compliments can be used to lower your defenses and gain your trust. Additionally, there are several types of manipulative personalities you should be aware of. The narcissist. Constantly seeking approval and adoration, they may seem charming at first, but their interactions are one-sided, leaving you emotionally exhausted. The martyr always portraying themselves as the sufferer to gain your sympathy and manipulate your actions. The bully uses intimidation and aggression to get their way, developing a mental map of potential dangers to your inner citadel begins with awareness of these manipulative personalities and their actions. Just as a Roman Stoic philosopher like Seneca might devise a plan to combat an adversary on the battlefield, you can use your newly acquired awareness to anticipate the strategies employed by potentially harmful individuals and devise a strategy to safeguard your emotional well-being. 2. Fortify your walls. Put yourself in the shoes of Marcus Aurelius, the famous Stoic Emperor of Rome. To rule a vast empire, one needed power, knowledge and unyielding determination. When it comes to strengthening the walls of your inner citadel, your emotional well-being, these same attributes are vital. Boundaries are the foundation of this citadel. When dealing with manipulative people, boundaries are the clear lines you draw to demarcate acceptable and unacceptable conduct. Do not permit poisonous individuals to intrude on your emotional territory. 
just as a powerful monarch would not allow his borders to be violated. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of reason and self-control. To take the first step, identify which activities deplete your energy or violate your sense of self. Is it the persistent pessimism of a friend, the manipulative behavior of a co-worker, or the intrusive counsel of a family member? Be honest with yourself about what you will no longer tolerate. Next, communicate these boundaries clearly and concisely channel your inner Marcus Aurelius and be firm yet fair. Effective communication strategies include using I statements rather than accusatory language. Instead of saying, you are always so negative, say something like, I feel drained when you constantly focus on unpleasant things. Be specific. Instead of saying, I need some space, say, I can't talk right now, but I'd be happy to chat later this week. Maintaining firmness and kindness is key. Assertive communication involves conveying your point with self-assurance while avoiding hostility. Establishing boundaries is not a one-time event. Enforcing them requires consistency, much like a stoic ruler who is always on guard against barbarian invasions. If a manipulative individual disregards your limits, calmly remind them of the established line you may need to restrict your interactions with the person or even withdraw completely. Remember, establishing boundaries is about protecting yourself, not punishing others. Three, become uninteresting to the emotional barbarian. Imagine a ferocious emotional barbarian driven by pessimism and seeking dramatic conflict. Some manipulative individuals act this way relying on your emotional response to fuel their negativity. The stoic ideals of emotional regulation and indifference to external stimuli inspire the Grey Rock Method, a powerful tool in this context. Developed by therapist Paul Fredman, the Grey Rock Method involves being emotionally unresponsive, providing the equivalent of a smooth, neutral rock with no handholds for negativity to cling to. Seneca, a great Roman Stoic philosopher teaches us that true happiness resides in enjoying the present without anxious dependence on the future. By starving manipulative people of the attention they seek, whether positive or negative, you become uninteresting to them. Respond to negative statements with neutral factual replies without becoming emotionally involved in disputes or justifications. This serves as your armor. For instance, if a manipulative friend insults your work, deflect their attack by saying, that's interesting, without offering them more fuel for negativity. Refuse to be drawn into their emotional vortex. By maintaining your composure and responding factually, you deny them the emotional power they seek. Seneca reminds us that genuine happiness is found by not amusing ourselves with either hopes or fears, meaning you should not give manipulative individuals the emotional power they crave. The broken record technique. Imagine being subjected to a never-ending onslaught of manipulation, a toxic individual persistently chipping away at your boundaries through deceptive arguments and emotional ploys. This can be both emotionally exhausting and deeply unpleasant. The stoic principles of unshakable reason and persistence come into play here, offering a robust defense. Perseverance inspires the broken record technique, a powerful defense against manipulative tactics. This method involves patiently repeating a clear statement about your position, much like a broken record skips over the same message. Though simple, this technique can be remarkably effective in repelling attempts to derail you and in maintaining focus on your needs. Epictetus, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, emphasizes the power of perseverance, stating that freedom includes the ability to set your own boundaries and say no without needing to explain. When defending against emotional attacks, Manipulators often use strategies like flattery, guilt trips, or outbursts of anger. By consistently repeating your stance in a calm, relentless manner, 
you can deflect these emotional assaults and keep the conversation grounded in reason. This consistent repetition can be disconcerting for manipulators, disrupting their flow and exposing the flaws in their arguments. Contrary to popular belief, the broken record technique doesn't involve confrontation. Instead, it focuses on maintaining a firm stance while calmly enforcing your boundaries. Stoicism emphasizes reason and logic as guiding principles for managing life's challenges. By employing this technique, you can resist exploitation and safeguard your inner peace with unwavering determination. 5. Don't take the bait. Imagine a skilled angler casting a line baited with negative thoughts, hoping to reel you into a whirlpool of emotional drama. Manipulative people often dangle provocations, insults or guilt trips to elicit a reaction that fuels their need for conflict. However, Stoic philosophy provides a powerful defense, indifference. This is not apathy, but rather emotional detachment from negativity. Epictetus distinguished between apathy, which is a lack of concern, and indifference, which is disconnection from negative emotions that distort our reason. When dealing with manipulative individuals, practicing stoic indifference means not responding to their drama. Recognize their strategy, identify the bait, and detach yourself emotionally. When you don't respond to their provocations, their power over you diminishes. Stoic indifference allows you to become a peaceful observer rather than an active player in their drama. This demonstrates your unwillingness to be drawn into their emotional web, thereby protecting your inner serenity. 6. The Art of Non-Reaction Now picture a verbal gladiator, a master of insults who thrives on heated arguments. Some manipulative individuals use words as weapons, intending to incite anger, humiliate, and lure you into their emotional sphere. However, stoic strategy offers a powerful counter, the art of non-reaction. When used strategically, silence can be an effective weapon, disrupting the dynamic that manipulative people seek. 7. Silence is not empty, it conveys strength. Silence, according to Marcus Aurelius, is not the absence of sound, but the restraint of emotion. When dealing with manipulation, a well-timed pause can be powerful, much like a shield that deflects an adversary's sword blow. If a manipulative person expects a reaction and is met with calm silence, they may lose their emotional grip on you. Consider how effective silence is in the heat of a verbal attack. It conveys confidence, emotional control, and self-assurance, while giving you time to evaluate the situation without feeling rushed. Silence can disrupt the manipulator's rhythm and force them to reconsider their approach. The Power of Strategic Retreat In the chaos of battle, a strategic retreat can be an effective tactic, allowing for regrouping and the gathering of resources. The Stoics also recognized the value of withdrawal, not as a sign of weakness, but as an opportunity to restore inner balance and refocus on what truly matters. When dealing with manipulative people, withdrawing from situations that compromise your emotional stability is an act of wisdom. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to maintain distance from those who disturb our peace of mind. If a confrontation becomes too intense, Retreating physically or mentally can allow you to regain composure and reflect on how to proceed. 9. Mastering Emotional Detachment Now, imagine yourself as a fortress under siege. The walls may be bombarded with manipulative strategies, but the stoic principle of emotional detachment keeps your citadel intact. Emotional detachment, a key stoic practice, allows you to observe manipulative tactics without becoming emotionally involved, maintaining your inner calm and protecting your emotional fortress. Emotional detachment requires seeing things objectively as they are, 
rather than through the lens of emotional bias. This approach allows you to identify manipulation without becoming entangled in its web. By maintaining a rational perspective, you can distance yourself from the emotional hooks of manipulators and protect your inner peace. 10. Practice compassion. Finally, let's consider a profound paradox. Stoic philosophy teaches that all humans are interconnected and even the most challenging individuals deserve compassion. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that humans are made for cooperation like feet, hands and eyes. Understanding that manipulative people often act from their own insecurities and fears allows you to approach them with compassion rather than anger. This does not mean tolerating their harmful behavior, but rather acknowledging their humanity and acting in ways that protect your own well-being. Practicing compassion, even toward manipulative individuals, reflects the stoic ideal of moral integrity. By embodying this virtue, you can navigate difficult relationships with grace and wisdom, ultimately emerging stronger and more resilient. As you journey forward, equipped with these stoic tools, remember that your inner citadel is yours to protect. By recognizing manipulative behavior, establishing firm boundaries, and practicing emotional detachment, you can maintain your emotional well-being and navigate relationships with wisdom. Remember, the strength of your citadel lies not in its walls, but in the unshakable wisdom within. 11th, cultivate and invest in quality time with your support system. Investing in your support system is key to maintaining your emotional well-being. Join communities aligned with your values and express gratitude for their positive influence. By nurturing these relationships, you form a formidable shield, ensuring your inner serenity remains secure. 12. Prioritize self-care. Interacting with manipulative individuals can feel like facing an unrelenting assault. Your emotional energy becomes depleted, leaving you exhausted. Self-care is essential just like a stoic warrior tending to their wounds and sharpening their blade. Incorporate self-care into your daily routine, viewing it as an investment in your mental well-being. Engage in activities that bring you joy, such as physical exercise, artistic pursuits, or meditation. These practices calm your mind, disconnect you from negative thoughts, and create inner peace. Seek solace in nature to alleviate stress and boost your mood. A well-cared-for emotional state will help you deflect negativity and radiate positivity, creating a shield against manipulative people. 13. Remember, it's not about you. Manipulative people often project their own worries and insecurities onto others, creating a toxic environment. The Stoic concept of prohiresis, viewing oneself as an intelligent observer, serves as a defense mechanism. By maintaining emotional detachment, you become an impartial analyzer of the situation rather than a passive target. Recognize that manipulative behavior reflects the individual's inner turmoil and is not a measure of your worth. Epictetus reminds us that it's not what happens to us but how we judge those events that affects us. By practicing stoic detachment, you protect your inner calm and emotional well-being. 14. Don't try to fix them. It's tempting to play the role of therapist, especially when dealing with someone you care about. However, stoicism teaches that trying to change manipulative individuals can lead to frustration and emotional depletion. Transformation requires their own willpower and effort. Instead, focus on what you can control, your own reactions and interactions. The responsibility for their actions lies with them and accepting this frees you from futile attempts to fix them. Concentrate on your personal growth and self-care, offering resources for self-reflection if needed, but always lead by example. 15. Know when to walk away. 
Despite your best efforts, some manipulative individuals continue to create negativity. Recognizing when to walk away is crucial. In Stoicism, prioritizing your mental health, even if it means ending a relationship, is a deliberate and necessary choice. Protect your inner serenity by removing yourself from harmful situations. Invest in positive connections and experiences that nourish your spirit. Walking away is not a sign of weakness, but a powerful act of self-care. Remember, your inner tranquility is your sacred sanctuary and deserves protection. 16. Use humor as a shield. Humor can be a powerful tool when dealing with manipulative people. Imagine someone trying to ensnare you in their web of drama, only for you to respond with humor. Stoicism teaches us to maintain a light heart and not take ourselves too seriously. Humor can deflect manipulation and neutralize tension, disarming the manipulator. When used appropriately, humor shifts the dynamic of an interaction. It shows that you are unaffected by their tactics and can maintain your composure. This approach breaks the cycle of negativity and demonstrates resilience, leaving the manipulator without the reaction they seek. 17. Prevent escalation with humor. When used tactfully, humor can be a powerful tool to prevent escalation in difficult interactions. It helps you maintain control over your emotions and deflect negativity without causing harm. However, it's essential to ensure that your humor is light-hearted and not dismissive or hurtful. This aligns with the stoic principle of remaining calm and composed in the face of adversity. 18. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness, the practice of staying present and engaged with the current moment, aligns perfectly with stoic philosophy. When dealing with manipulative people, mindfulness helps you stay grounded and reduces the impact of their tactics. By observing your thoughts and feelings without reacting impulsively, you respond more thoughtfully and avoid being caught up in their agenda. Mindfulness also allows you to recognize your emotional triggers and develop effective strategies for managing them. Incorporating mindfulness practices like meditation, deep breathing, or mindful walking into your routine enhances your ability to remain calm and centered in challenging situations. 19. Forgive yourself. Imagine carrying the burden of hatred and resentment toward a manipulative individual. It only slows you down and drains your energy. In the Stoic framework, forgiveness is about releasing this emotional baggage for your own well-being. Stoicism emphasizes accepting things beyond your control, including the actions of others. Holding on to hatred only harms you, contaminating your present and future. Forgive yourself for any perceived failures or weaknesses in dealing with manipulative individuals. Practicing self-forgiveness allows for healing and a lighter heart. This act of self-compassion isn't about condoning others' actions, but about freeing yourself from the negative emotions that weigh you down. By forgiving yourself, you reclaim control over your inner peace and create space for growth. By applying these 15 Stoic-inspired strategies, you transform from a passive victim into a resilient warrior of inner peace. Manipulators thrive on chaos and emotional turmoil, but with these approaches, you can navigate their tactics with grace and strength. Remember, your mental well-being is your most valuable asset deserving of protection and care. If you found these insights helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit from these ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more stoic wisdom and practical tips for living a balanced, fulfilling life. Together, we can harness the power of stoicism to maintain a healthy and realistic perspective. Thank you for watching and remember, you are a crucial part of this community. Your support helps us continue to share valuable content. So hit that subscribe button and join us on this journey toward a more balanced and fulfilling life.